We were also going to update you on what's going on in the Josh Brent trial. We've been seeing some activity here in just the last few minutes, and so we're going to move that up to right now. Yeah, we're going to get straight to Rebecca Lopez with the latest information. Rebecca? Just a little while ago, the red light went on indicating that the jury might have a, a question. There is no verdict, though, and the attorneys in both, both sides, prosecutors and the defense attorneys, are in the judge's chambers right now having a discussion with the judge. But again, no verdict at this time. Very emotional testimony this afternoon. Jerry Brown's mother taking the stand, basically crying when she sees a picture of her son, and also describing Josh Brent like a son to her. Meanwhile, prosecutors are trying to prove that Josh Brent is a habitual offender who deserves to be in prison. The first witness on the stand for the prosecution this morning was Illinois Trooper Monica Strandberg, who testified that in February 2009, she arrested Brent for DWI speeding and not having a license. She says Brent told her that he had been out partying with friends and was at a nightclub and that he had some drinks. He registered a blood alcohol level of .11 and also failed a field sobriety test. Uh, he was also given uh, probation for that once he was convicted of DWI. Witnesses also testified that while out on bond, Brent testified that um, he actually rather t um, tested positive for marijuana three times. Defense attorneys then brought several character witnesses who said Brent had matured and that he was remorseful about what happened. Jerry Brown's mother says that they've all made mistakes and that we must go on in life. In closing arguments, defense attorneys told jurors he's already in prison and will be there the rest of his life. Prosecutors say this is not about sympathy or mercy, but about sending a strong message against drinking and driving here in Dallas County. And again, the jury has the option to either sentence him to probation or up to 20 years. If they sentence him to more than 10 years, he must serve at least half of his time. So we'll have a verdict for you as soon as we know. As soon as we know it, we will obviously tell you the verdict and update you on this case. Reporting live, Rebecca Lopez, Channel 8 News.